Hello and welcome to my MMD tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to rig a model from scratch. You will need a model in the .pmx format and PMX editor. There are two ways you can do this. You can either use a pre-existing skeleton rig or you can make the bones yourself. You are also going to need a list of all the bone names in Japanese. All the things you need will be linked to in the description. Please don't mind the text to speech voice. I don't have a microphone and a recording space. As you can see I am also using a VTuber like model. She is my OC and her name is Cleo. I made her using Vroid Studio and I don't know if I should make her this channel's mascot per se. Please comment what you like and don't like about this video so I can make better tutorial videos like this in the future. And also I have set OBS to the best settings I can get. Sorry if it doesn't look very good. This is the first time I have made a video like this. I hope you enjoy and find this helpful. Let's get started. Method 1 is when you use a pre-made rig to rig your model. I will be using one I made earlier. For this tutorial my model is T-posed but I have also made an A-pose rig for you to use. You can use these pre-made rigs if you'd like and you can find them in the description. My model is T-posed and so I will be using the T-pose rig. The difference between an A-pose and T-pose rig is just where the model's arms are. If your model's arms are a bit lower than mine you will need the A-pose base rig. First, open your .pmx model file in PMX editor. You can either open PMX editor and click file then open or you can right click your model file and select open with PMX editor. You may have to then choose open with another app if you haven't already opened PMX editor. Once you have opened your model it should look like this. Now we need to load the base rig in PMX editor. You can do this by either dragging and dropping the tpose.pmx file into the main model window or you can go to file then import. The bones should appear like this. To rig the model using this base we will be weighting the bones to the model so the model's parts move with the bones. When you import the model a new window will pop up. Make sure to click add then ok. If you click new it will get rid of the model we want to add the bones to. Now we need to weight the bones. Click the tab named bones in this window. It will display all the bones that have been imported. This will help us later. Now make sure the V just here is unchecked and the B is checked instead. Then open the weight tab and the materials tab by pressing the W and the M like so. The materials tab is so you don't accidentally select a part of the model while weighting certain bones. The weight tab is for starting and ending the weighting process. I am only going to show how to weight one part of the model since it is the same method for the entire model. First make sure only the part of the model you want to weight is visible. You can control what parts of the model are visible using the materials tab. For this tutorial I will show you how to weight the head and torso. Method 2 is when you make the bones from scratch. However you still need to weight the bones the same way as this. I will add timestamps so you can come back to this part when you need to weight the bones if you want to make your own rig from scratch instead. Whoops. It seems the arms and legs are part of the same material as the head. Here is a little mini tutorial on how to separate them. The version of PMX editor I use, and linked in the description, already has this plugin that we need installed. If your PMX editor doesn't have this plugin then you can either use the same PMX editor I use or you can find a link to the plugin in the description. To open the plugin go to Edit, Plugin, User. Then click on the plugin called UV Editor 2. A window should pop up that looks like this. Now click on the V up here to show the vertices. This plugin lets you select certain parts of the body easier. Go to the plugin and find the offending material. I labeled mine arms plus head and legs plus head respectfully. Use the drop down to select the material and it will show up. Highlight the part of the body you want to separate. Then click show selected vertices. The parts you selected should show up as orange dots on the main model window. 
Go to the Materials tab and make sure only that part of the model is visible. Then right-click the material and click Split. This will split whatever vertices were selected. Make sure to select at least 7 plus vertices otherwise it will not split since there is not enough vertices for it to split. Do this until you have split the materials you need. I have gone ahead and also split the legs from the head, off camera since it is the same steps as before. Now we can start waiting. You can close the plug-in menu since we don't need it anymore. Now we can select the specific materials we want to wait. Go to the Materials tab and have only the material you want to wait checked. It should be the only material that is visible. Next select the bone you want to wait first. I will be waiting the lower backbone first. You can click the on the specific bone either in the main model window or you can do to the bone tab and select it from there. Once the bone is selected, click start in the wait tab. You can see the vertices of the model turn black. Make sure in the Wait tab the box labeled Vertex is not selected. Sometimes my PMX editor likes to auto-select it and it stops me from waiting. Select or click on all the black vertices closest to the bone you selected. They should turn from black to red. When you are done, click Start again to end the waiting process. Only the vertices you selected will now move with the bone you selected. Let's test it out. To test your model's bones, click on the T just here to open the transform view. Click on the bone you just waited and move it around. It moves with the bone, I have moved a bone that isn't weighted so the model doesn't move with it. To weight the rest of the model like this, exit out of the transform view and repeat the steps we just went through for almost every bone. Make sure to save your model. You don't need to weight the IK bones. Here is a short clip of me weighting the rest of the torso and the head. that it is done, here is the end result. Again, just repeat the steps we went through for almost every bone of your model. Remember to save your model frequently. To test your model you can use the T-Transform view to move the bones or load the model into MMD and test it by loading a motion onto it. I will be making a separate tutorial for how to load a motion into PMX editor since this video is already taking too long. Next we will be going over method 2 and how to make bones from scratch. I have decided to turn this into two parts instead. Please check out part 2 if you'd like to know how to make bones from scratch. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I will try to answer as many as I can. You can also request more tutorials and give feedback to help improve these tutorial videos. The model I used for this tutorial is the Model Gold Experience Requiem from the Jojo Part 5 PS2 game. With the help of a friend, I am converting all the models from this game. 
I have already converted a few and you can find them on my DeviantArt which is also linked. You can also download him in the description when I fully finish the model. The music I used is all by 4 Everfree Brony and is also linked if you would like to listen to any of the tracks I used. It was actually kind of fun to make this style of video and I'm planning on making more but they take a long time to actually finish. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you so much for watching.